When you build a light 3-inch quadcopter with a high thrust to weight ratio, it is extremely fun to fly. But is it possible to increase the performance or efficiency by extending the arms a quarter of an inch and then putting 3.5 inch propellers onto existing hardware? Or will the extra size require additional weight and battery or motors to efficiently spin them? Let's find out. Recursion Labs For Science I have obtained three different 3.5 inch propellers from three different manufacturers to not only comparatively test against one another, but to also compare against three inch propeller performance and efficiency on 1404 size motors. To conduct this test, I will be using my automated variable controlled motor testing methodology, which you can find out more about in the video linked in the description. The test will be conducted at a regulated 16 volts to emulate a 4S battery. I will be using a T-Motor F1404 3800 kV motor, which was previously tested in another video linked in the description. The 3.5 inch propeller being tested today are HQ Prop 3 blade 2 inch pitch propellers, Gem Fan Hurricane 3 blade 2 inch pitch propellers, Emacs Avan Scimitar 3 blade 2.8 inch pitch propellers. In addition to each other, these propellers will be compared against a 3 inch HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller, representing the current 3 inch performance leader, a 3 inch Gem Fan 3 blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller, representing the current 3 inch efficiency leader. Now for the weigh in. I weighed these propellers using my calibrated jewelry scale, accurate to 0.01 grams. The Emacs and Gem Fan 3 3.5 inch propellers come at a fairly similar weight, but the HQ Prop 3.5 inch is only 0.012 grams heavier comparing all four propellers against aggressive 3 inch propellers. This gives me hope that this might work out, so I'm fairly excited to get started and see how these compare. Let's start with thrust. Out of the gate, the Emacs Avan takes the lead with overall thrust across the throttle range, but as they approach the end of the throttle range, the lead shortens up to the point where the HQ Prop is almost tied. The Gem Fan 3.5 inch is basically equal for the first 40% of the throttle range, but the HQ Prop slowly builds a slight lead widening until the end. The 3.5 inch propellers have a definitive thrust advantage over the 3 inch propellers, but at what cost? Let's switch to efficiency. Yowzers! The efficiency of the Avan absolutely takes a nosedive as the throttle range increases, which is probably going to hurt given how little extra top thrust it had. What is very exciting to see here is that both the other 3.5 inch propellers are almost tied for overall throttle efficiency with the 3 inch efficiency leader, while giving out so much more thrust, and is more efficient in the lower throttle range, where efficiency helps the most. Now we really need to see the thrust generated to watts of power. There it is. The 3.5 inch gem fan and HQ prop propellers are exactly where you'd want to see them, as low as possible for watts required and moving over to the far right for high thrust. The Avans are more efficient than the current 3 inch performance leader, but what you're seeing here is significantly less efficiency than the other 3.5 inch propellers without getting more than a few grams of top end thrust, so it's not worth it. With that said, it's possible the Avans are just not appropriate for any 1404 size motor, and if we switch over to the RPM chart, you can see that the motor delivers far less RPMs across the throttle range trying to fling them around. To test this possibility, I repeated these tests on the Brother Hobby 1504.5 motor to see what a bigger stator would do, and the RPM difference was roughly the same. And the thrust to watt chart looked similar as well, so maybe it's the propellers. I have larger stator motors coming soon where I can verify this, but for smaller motors, I'm going to consider the Avans eliminated. With two left, where does that leave us? The data shows that the remaining 3.5 inch propellers deliver more more thrust per watt across the entire throttle range compared to the 3 inch propellers, and the top end delivers an impressive 55 grams of thrust per motor of additional thrust, or the same wattage. For a 220 gram quadcopter, that's an additional thrust to weight ratio for free. You could even get away with having a smaller battery than on a 3 inch, or keep it the same and have longer flight times and performance. As for which one is the best, it's pretty close, but the HQ prop edges out over the gem fan propeller in top end efficiency and thrust. The HQ prop is 25% lighter, which should help when you need to make fast throttle adjustments. What is unique about the gem fan is that it supports both a T-mount and 5mm motor mounts, so if you use both and want to have only one propeller, this might make the most sense for you. If you only have T-mounts, then this adapter might get a bit annoying to have to deal with. All I need now is for someone to make a light frame like these, but with longer arms to support 3.5 inch propellers. If anyone knows of one that supports single tight 20 by 20 stacks, let me know in the comments. Like always, if you have a 3.5 inch propeller that you wish to see tested and are willing to donate it to science, reach out to me using my email in the video description. It looks like the spinning 3.5 inch propeller tip speed has some room left to go faster. I wonder if these motors can run light 4 inch propellers? Hmm.